In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can do something creative with your pictures. I'll use Brooks Desk Shot that I took last year. At the bottom, you'll notice three different pictures besides Brooks' picture. We have the texture, a landscape shot, and a picture of a tree. These two pictures I obtained from morgfile.com. They offer free pictures. Check them out. Let's go back to Brooks' picture and make it black and white. But before I do that, I would like to create a duplicate layer. You can simply do that by hitting Control J or Command J if you are using a Mac. Now we can go to Enhance and click on Convert to Black and White. From the Style menu, select Scenic Landscape. This is going to increase the brightness of your picture. Click OK. Next, we are going to drop the texture over Brook. Simply click on the texture and drop it over Brook's picture. Set the blending mode to hard light. Notice the difference. Now we can place the tree picture directly over the paper texture. As you can see, the picture needs to be scaled down. Before we scale it down, change the blending mode to multiply. Click Ctrl T or Command T if you are using a Mac to resize the picture. Make sure that the Constraint Proportions checkbox is selected. We are going to place this tree on Brook's left hand side. Once you're done, you can hit enter or simply click on the check mark. Let's minimize our project bin. There are some parts that I need to erase from this picture. To do that, select the eraser tool or hit letter E on your keyboard. Now we're going to erase some parts from this picture. Use the eraser tool to do that and select a soft brush. You can also change the opacity. I'll make mine 50% and then I can start erasing. Now we can place the last picture over the tree picture that we just worked on. Let's go back to our project bin. Select the landscape shot and drag it over Brook's picture. We can change the opacity to let's say 58 so that we can see what we are doing. Simply click Control T and downsize this picture until it fits the width of Brooks picture. Once you're done, hit enter and let's bring it back to 100%. We need to make this picture black and white as well. So go to enhance and click on convert to black and white. You can leave it the way it is, so just click okay. Now we can set the blending mode to multiply. and we are going to erase again. Just make sure that your landscape layer is selected. Whatever layer you are working on, make sure it's selected. Let's use the eraser tool. I'll change the opacity to, let's see, let's leave it at 29 and I want my brush to be just a little bit smaller. I can minimize my project bin, scroll up and start erasing. Notice that Brook's elbow is showing up right here, so we want to get rid of that. But we have to switch to another layer. Let's click on Brook's layer that we duplicated in the beginning of this tutorial and simply start erasing. Notice that nothing is really happening when you erase. That's because there is another layer beneath it. And this is the original layer. So let's go to that layer and start erasing.
Before we finish, look at it closely. There are some clouds in her arms and I would like to take that out. So simply go back to that layer. But first we have to find out which layer that is. So we can do that by switching the layer off and on. So it's the tree layer. Use the eraser tool. I'll make my brush a little bit smaller. I'll change the opacity to let's say 38 and I do want my brush to be just a little bit bigger now. Let me see. Um, okay, that's too big. Ah, that's good. And then I'll start erasing. I'm gonna go to my landscape layer and erase some of the landscape. And remember we had a road right here and I want that road to show up. So I'm simply going to go to my tree layer because the tree layer is covering the road and then I'll start erasing. Now I'm going to add some text to finish it off. Click T on your keyboard and then start typing. Just make sure that your text is all the way at the top and then click on auto select layer. That way you are only working with the text and you cannot select any of the other layers. To change the color you can sample some color from the image itself. So let's make it off white. To move the text around, hold the shift key on your keyboard and then click on the text that you want to move. And then you can simply move it around. So I'll place it right here. And this is what we have. This is what we had before and this is what we have now. You can do the same thing to create family greeting cards or movie posters. I mean, there's so much you can do in um, Photoshop Elements. If you would like to download these exercise files that I used in this tutorial, simply like us on our Facebook page and once you're there, you'll find all the links that you need. Cheers!